Sheldon Ray here, manager of advanced technology products at Lincoln Electric, and I'm in Lincoln Electric San Diego, where we design our portable mechanized solutions, such as our Apex and Helix product lines. Now in this video, I'm going to show how you set up your parameters for a particular program on the Apex pendant. So from the home screen, I'm going to press setup, and then I'm going to go to the process setup screen and press enter. Now this screen is where I have control over all of my parameters. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that it's set up for the sector that I want to program. Right now it's set up for sector one. You can actually have it set up for multiple sectors on a pipe, and we have a separate video for things like auto sector that are available online. So from this screen, I'm going to go ahead and press mode so I can set up my weld mode. What I'm welding with today is 045, so I'm going to move down to 045. Then it's going to be stainless, and I want to use a pulse waveform. So after I select that, it's going to show me the available waveforms that are in the system. So I have pulse with helium and argon CO2 mix. But what I want to actually use is precision pulse with an argon mix and press enter. So after that information is loaded, you're going to be presented with that information on the left hand side. It says it's in mode 423, it says using precision pulse argon mix, and it has the wire information and the gas information below. So the next thing I'm going to do is move down to the wire feed speed. I'm set for 125 inches a minute, and that's where I do want to start. The next item here is actually your voltage control, or your arc length control, and that is followed by the amperage control or your height control, and that's used for the automatic height sensitivity. The item after that is going to be your travel speed. I have this currently programmed to move at 10 inches a minute. Now the next item on the screen is actually set up for your weave or your oscillations. Right now I have it set for a stringer. If I just change that item, I can have it for a continuous weave going back and forth, or I can have it set up for a step weave. The next item is your actual weave distance. And so this controls how far you travel from left to right, followed by how fast you travel from left to right. And the two items on the bottom here is a dwell time. So when I'm on the left-hand side, it's going to pause for 0.02 seconds. On the right-hand side, it's also going to pause for 0.02 seconds. Now from here, I'm going to go to the start and end settings menu. Now in this menu, I can set up my procedure for what I want to happen at the beginning of the weld, the moment I press start. For when I press start, it's currently set for a preflow of one second. So the gas will flow, and then the weld will begin. The upslope time dictates how long I want it to be in this particular start procedure before it moves to the actual weld procedure. And the run in wire feed speed is how fast I want that wire to move before it actually strikes the arc. So here I also have the run in volt and the motion delay. So the run in volt dictates how strong I want that arc start to be, but also the motion delay tells the bug whether I want it to move immediately after pressing start or pause for some period of time before beginning the motion. If I press the advanced button here, it'll take me to the Ultimark screen. So this is your arc control. This is to fine tune the style of arc that you want, whether you want it to be really soft or you want it to be crisp. Now after that, I'm going to set my end settings. So this is what happens after I press stop, when I want the weld to end. Well, currently it's set for a crater wire feed speed of 80, and so I'm going to go ahead and move that up to 100. And then it's also set for a crater volts of 10. So I'm going to go ahead and move that up to about 18 volts. Now next this is followed by crater time. So how long do I want it to stay in the crater procedure before moving on to the next stage? So I have it currently set for 0.4 seconds and then it's followed by burn back. Now burn back is a, a nice tool that can help keep your wire from sticking to the puddle. What happens here is the power source stays energized while the wire stops feeding to give some time for that wire to burn back towards the tip, but not all the way into the tip, so you end up with a nice clean arc end. So that's currently set for 0.2 seconds. The downslope, that is the time it's going to take to go from the weld procedure into your actual arc end procedure, and the post flow is the amount of time you want the gas to flow after welding stops to go ahead and cool down and solidify your puddle. That is all for now on this product, but for more information on our products here as well as other Lincoln products, please go to lincolnelectric.com.